All right, so into a new run of Gordian Quest we go. This is a modded version provided by uh, a viewer over on Twitch. So we are going to see if this new version works. The main allure of this new version is more items are going to drop. So we're going to have an easier time gearing up our crew. I think I'm going to stick with a random, uh, a random selection here once again. I kind of dig the... Forest Guardian, Force Mage, Ranger. I think this could be a fun combo. So we'll give it a go. We'll stick with Torment. We're gonna have more gear, so it should be a little easier. And then I want I want a long one. Ooh, here is a long one, isn't it? Chilling ground. Party has less physical resist. Relates have a higher chain of chance of containing curses. Consumables use is blocked. Okay, let's go for the Dark Sanctuary. All right, so right off the bat, an early uh, an early shop is not that interesting to us. Let's uh, let's get into a fight sooner rather than earlier. A couple drifters and nomads, and then we'll come down here potentially grab some stuff that way. It does feel like there are a lot less fights on the map? Is that a, is that a feature, Nikki? Or I you, I know you mentioned uh, caches are higher. Exploration is super ju juicy. Okay. Well, we will uh, we'll head over that way since I saw a couple there that looked of interest. Okay. Nobody's attacking, so let's just get Spirit Wolf out and then spend our last action point moving back. Looks like we're going to have a bit of a summon heavy build here. Uh, Pierre is old and slow, so we need to be mindful of putting up some defense that we may or may not need. Close, but no cigar there. Like in, like in our front line, though. Uh, I, I always find summon builds to be particularly forgiving. So we will see if this, uh, if this remains. Move target to the back or front row. So if I do this, Quick Trap will get... Uh, We'll get triggered on the other one. There we go. And we just magic missile them into a beautiful oblivion. Hang in there, pupper. Okay. Here we go. It Will it be a loot pinata? Oh, yes, it will be. I think it's working now, Nikki. <laughs> so, so this is the difference, right? We're going to see a lot more gear showing up, which is going to allow us to gear up our characters a little more, uh, a little more effectively. We're going to have a little bit more time between, I guess, for dexterity skills. We'll put that there, and then melee attack skills. Are javelins melee attacks? No, they're ranged attacks. So, that javelin isn't going to do us a ton of good, but. That'll be a good one for Bertram, and then put that there. I want some more initiative here, so that's all good. Throne daggers for range skills, and then I guess I will put this here for now. There we go. All right, let's see how explorations feel. You can middle click on the screen to tag items as trash. Oh, interesting. Okay, so. This is our first uh, our first exploration. I'm going to kind of grab these two, and then I guess, well, hold on. Maybe if we grab these two like this, we can make it. No, we're not going to make it. So I think that's all she wrote. Okay, that is, that is intense, Nikki. Ha, 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 ha. So we got a dexterity, 
AP cost, gain agility, power rune, turn cards. It does look like that might happen, Nikki. I think there's going to be... This This is definitely transformative. What was this event here? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. So, I mean, now we have to think about leveraging some of these runes. Although I will say we don't have a lot of... Uh, we have a lot... We would benefit a lot from green runes. And we don't have a ton of those, but... We can certainly do that. But yeah, this is it's really interesting because this is going to transform the way that our the way that we think about our uh our gearing up process to be sure. Uh I think it's very interesting. Now we're not gonna get too much out of this, uh, I fear. Yeah, it, it's true. It's it's true, and it's very interesting. Uh, we don't really need that. I guess I'll just forage here. Wanted to see if we were going to get a lot more consumables. Uh, okay. Finding a lot of buried items. Was that an adjustment as well, Nikki? Hello. <laughs> a, a legendary buried treasure. Uh, plus one strength-based challenges, plus two max HP for every common item equipped. Minus one HP for every non-common equipped, plus one strength. Huh. Interesting, certainly. We'll do a, a meditation. We'll grab that. And then I think we will do another round of foraging. Okay, noted. Okay, we're up to three of three fate. Get rid of your exhaustion. Gosh, we're only at the halfway point. So let's see, if we do this, we'll just hang on to the improv improvisation. So now we can do that. Get these two. Then we'll get a warm meal going. We don't need the zero to one fate. That is uh, not useful. But the consumables we're getting out of this are uh, substantial. Right, we'll just actually we won't do that. Hello. Pass an hour. All right, and then I think. I mean, I guess there's there's no value in uh, in not doing the special activities here. I'm not sure why I can't use this. Hey, Juan, welcome. How goes it? All right, no no exhaustion, at least. I did that right. So let's see, we'll go here, and then we can get around that and around that, and that should get us everything there is, that there is to be had. Holy cow. We'll look at those when we get to the other side. So, uh, so the main mod radically increases the amount of gear that is dropped. So things like that, that cash are going to be the, uh, the new big difference one. And, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of playing it by ear and seeing, but yeah, we have a ton of gear as a result. So for instance, we can't use this longbow, unfortunately. We don't really have a lot of melee attacks. I'm, I'm, un I'm unsure if the... Justicar's girdle is worth anything. Restore 3 HP to self and allies 
in selection for every ally restore plus two HP. Hmm. We definitely want to get our potions out there. But now middle click to mark is junk. So we can do this, which will help us in the future. And keep the longbow because eventually uh, Bertram will be able to use it. This is just better though. Well, I guess he can use both of those. And then I don't think we care. We're not, a, we don't have a strength based hero. And then let's get, uh, I guess since we have so many consumables, let's make sure that everybody has something secondary and interesting. There we go. We'll lose three supplies. I don't think that's the end of the world. And then we sadly can't get over, we can get over to the forge so we can do some salvaging of all of the goodies that we have, uh, that we have come across. I think we learn a skill. Oh, I guess I left that on Ida. Huh. It's none of these. <laughs> I, I think it's super fun. Uh, I think I'm really impressed with Cult of the Lamb, and I'm looking forward to playing it. We may play it as soon as tomorrow, but I guess let's go to the Forge. Because now, boy, do we have some salvaging to do. Now, for Fusion, what is our current... We have so many, uh, so many runes as well, which I think is amazing. Let's see if we can get any of them fused quite yet. I don't think we have sufficient runes of any variety. No, we don't. So we'll top ourselves up on supplies. It, Given how many runes we're getting, it seems like it's probably not worth it to... Uh, to go too crazy with purchasing runes because they seem to be in... Uh, in abundance. I kind of like this, although I want to convert it over to blue. So maybe... Maybe we do enchant the silk gloves. I like them. And if we pick up an AP on them, that's always pretty, uh, pretty transformative. Okay, critical is not really going to do it for us. Oops. Oh, why does this craft button not work? Okay, I may have done something there. Let's do that. Do that. There we go. All right, we did not we did not roll high on that one, and then this tunic is actually pretty decent. So we'll do that, and we got a bit of strength out of it. Okay, so our first uh, our first run in with the. Uh, with the forge has not been transformative, but that's okay. Oh, good. The, uh, the Now we have our choice of two terrible situations, one that we don't know or one that we do. Uh, a little foresight might have been a good idea. This looks handleable, so we'll go over this way. But yeah, super impressed by Cult of the Lamb. I think that it has a great... Uh, a great vibe to it, among other things. Okay, so no, no chill here. Uh, okay, so this is a target a specific unit, so we just have to move Ida. But unfortunately, she's going to take a hit first, I think. I don't think there's any way that I can stop that. Is there? I can focus fire the one that is attacking, but with 81 hit points, I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot of work. And I can't quite move her out of the way. Like I'm thinking if I, if I swap with her like this, that changes nothing.
given that we have an abundance of hello given that we have an abundance of these I will uh, continue the onslaught but yeah she's gonna she's just gonna take a hit undefended very little we could do there. Now, Bertram is slightly defended, but Ida's going to need some more protection. We, we put the quick trap here. It's just root and vulnerable, though. Well, that might be. It's not going to be enough, it doesn't look like. And then unfortunately, Herd is not the one that gives taunt, because that would invalidate the attack. Uh, and then we need to shift up one to at least invalidate one of the attacks. Hello, Archer. Jeez. Relentless. This is the one targeting Bertram. So... I think we just kill that one. And then give them more targets to attack. Uh, is I think the best we can do. Now, Ida can just move out of the way of this one. So I think... Just do the work there. Having heals makes, uh, makes a staggering amount of difference. shooting. Alright, so Pierre's gonna need to move. Unless we just get the kill. Uh, okay, I think we, we can do what needs to be done now. All these speedy speedy fellers. Okay, Ida needs to move, but she'll be able to. So we picked up Steel Edge. I uh, cannot overstate how not particularly useful that is. Should have used a respect point on that sooner rather than later, actually. If we can get rid of that one, I think that's good. And I'll spend the SP to be just shy. Huh. Which literally means Pierre is taking a hit. Hate that. Does Ida Ida has both her heals, so I'm gonna slow roll this. We'll let the we'll let the sentry do the do what needs to be done. All right, we come out alive from the uh, from the elite fight, and the loot pinata follows. 
quite immediately. Now, what do I... What do I build my... Oops, hold on. Let's, uh... Thank you. Take all. So, let's see. Yeah, so now we have to... We have to do that, although strength isn't particularly transformative for us. You have dodges, so we will give you the buckler for now. Int hat goes here. Initiative boots. What is Pierre's initiative at now? 13, 14. Eh, we can make it. We can have Pierre go first. I'm not I'm not too uh too horrified by that idea. And then this was just slightly better than these. So mark that as junk, mark that as junk. I'm keeping the longbow because I think that's eventually what we will. I mean, is there any value to the longbow? Probably not. Eh, I mean, it does have the does have the attack gem slot, so I think that's probably worth doing. And then dex for you. Oh, and as much as I like max card draw, I think just first the dex to get our defense doing work. That initial stat bump is uh, is hard to uh, hard to pass up. And then over here, we kind of have to decide if we're going bears or wolves. I have a tendency to go wolves. Let's uh, let's respec point the uh, the steel edge. See see if we can get something particularly interesting. Taunt has been huge for me in the past. I'll pick that up. And then, in terms of scaling, I don't think the bears or wolves get better based on the, uh, based on your stat, your particular core stat. So I'm going to do this strictly for the, uh, I mean, initiative is good, but I, I do find that you're just trying to, like, stay just head above water, right? You don't want to overinvest in initiative. But let's see. Let's adjust our decks a little bit as well. I don't think Eyes of the Wolf is something I'm particularly fond of there. And then over here, I think throw is not... Uh, actually... Yeah, I think throw is, is ain't it. And then I don't think I'm going sentry turrets. Although they've been super handy so far. So maybe quick trap goes away. Yep. No, that makes it makes a lot of sense. That's the that is the flexibility of talents, to be sure, Nikki. Well, this is an absolute nightmare. Um <laughs> And no, uh, no summon. All right, this is probably going to get really unfortunate. Does Ida at least have some defends? No. Bertram has some defends, so I think Bertram moves forward. And if Bertram moves forward again, this guy can't hit Pierre? Question mark. Yeah. All right. Let's do that just so that we're fully defended up that gives everybody else some some flexibility here yeah what a what an absolutely horrific draw we had here I do not want Bertram tanking call me old-fashioned Eight by two. How lovely. Okay, that's a kill. So that that helps a bit, but Bertram is gonna have to run away and something else is gonna have to take these hits. And that means Pierre is gonna have to take a hit, it looks like. 
good stuff. Oh, you do have you do have the bear. Okay, so that's gonna be the play. Uh, so all we need is nine defend here. It's fine. We got it. Does the bear just immediately die? Looks like that is what's about to happen. Uh, I don't think we had another play. Oh no, I think it survives with what? A couple hit points? Jeez. <sighs> that it's it's things like that that drive me absolutely up the wall and around the corner. Like the okay so the front switched it to that Ugh, it's so it's the the target switching is not communicated by the game and you just get caught off guard by it and it feels uh horrific um okay so you you are hitting the sentry turret you are hitting the sentry turret that means that we have we have no SP, so... Well, this will move us, so... I think... But I think we do need to move. Because this this 9 is going to prove fatal. Uh, I think we need to use a healing potion to be safe. Also, not sure why this is uh, invalidated at the moment, but... Uh, do you have a defend? Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay, so you need to stay down here. Now, upper to lower lane. So putting a wolf here should not change anything it just it just doesn't make sense targets from front to back all opposing units in the same row priority goes yeah okay uh let's see so heard you here to reset the badness uh but now you don't have Yikes. These these new mobs that they added with the last segment are uh, are definitely spicy. Yeah, I probably should have gone with uh, the improved arrow first, but... We live to fight another day. Well, I mean, unless I bungle it. Also, the fact that this fight is in such a narrow corridor is pretty brutal. Yeah, Nikki, they are uh, they are pretty spicy. All right, so this is just going to be a a defend and prepare type of thing. Oh yeah, I guess those uh, I guess that endless thorns he's got there is going to cause some problems. Alright, we're still alive. But this guy all by himself is giving me extreme heartburn. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're rooted. So, okay, so if I put a sentry turret here, I can't. Okay, so if I move... If I move the wolf forward, this guy will hit the wolf. I think that's what we need to do. But I can't actually... Can't actually hit into this guy because he has thorns. So I move you up like that. OK. 
Okay, we're at least a little safer then. It's only seven guard on Wall of Thorns. Guess I'll just do that. Does the quicksand? No, oh, it does apply two damage per turn. Noted. Now, do you have you have one healing wisp? It's probably worth hitting Bertram with that. Do you have the ability to get the kill? Yeah, you do. All right, so we'll hold off, and we will do that, and then we will get the kill. There we go. Now, can I mark things as junk from here? I can. Ooh, plus one dexterity is nice. We want all the rings we can get. And then strength-based guards, that's trash. All right. Nice. All right, we're, we're engaging with a new system that we had not previously, which is kind of cool all in its own right. We'll do that just to get a bit more defense. Let's get ourselves our first card. I don't think behavior chain is that interesting to me. Another another wolf I think could be useful. Now where are we where are we going with Pierre? Are we going the magic missile route? Yeah, I think so. I don't love just having another magic missile, but we can respect that. And then I think we are going Sharpshooter over here. Draw one card, gain three bonus draw. Drill hit. I seem to remember it has good scaling. Oh, I can't check the scaling here, though. Now let's go with drill hit. Now let's see. We wanted to do a bit. Oh, we already used your respect point. I'm going to use a respect point because I don't think... What, what can we get if we respec this? That's a good question. It's pretty underwhelming. Now, Arcane Push. It's at least a rare. So, I, I find it strange that rares just have less options. Uh, oh, did I actually... I clicked the wrong button. Whoops, I used up his respec point. Not my finest move. Sentry turret. I meant to I meant to click the question mark. Hey, Wismo! It is a mod that increases the amount of gear that we get uh for fights that was created by uh a viewer who is currently in Twitch chat right now, Nikki 2x2. Add two random arrow cards to your hand. I kinda like this. That seems like a fun skill. Yeah, so we're we're trying it out. We are we are rich with gear. Uh, for sure. Is this better? It's basically not better in any way, shape, or form. So let's trash that. And then... Who we give these things to? Plus one max card draw is nice, though. And then plus one dex I'll put over here. Which means dex-based challenge. Doesn't really matter where we put that. Then that's all trash. Uh, it, it is. I think that's what's interesting about it, Wismo, is that it's going to give us an opportunity to interface with some of the systems that don't get a lot of love in Gordian Quest because you are constantly uh, lacking... Uh, you're constantly lacking gear. So, you know, things like salvaging are not things that you think about in any real meaningful way. Okay, let's see. So I think... I think we're going to avoid these two at the bottom. So let's move up here and then I guess just... I guess we just lay into this guy. One less baddie to deal with. Yeah, me too, Wismo. And, and I think just generally speaking... I, I get to the end of these runs and people are not wearing any pants. 
uh, which is uh, which is telling. <laughs> Applies three infected if hit potent. So I kind of don't want to create a bear this turn, I don't think. I think I just do this. Do this, and then heal you up a little, and then I'm going to move Pierre up. And just put in some put in some damage like that. But yeah, I mean, most most of the time in Gordian Quest, you you never fuse runes, right? You never you never hit tier three runes. And, and so I think there's something very interesting about the prospect of uh, of playing a run where you are rich with uh with options and and i also want to see how it affects the uh the power level i think the the pupper can take the hit although we'll, we'll see if i if i decide to force it to guess not But yeah, I, I really don't. I really don't know the answer to the question of like, is it going to be a huge power spike, or is the game still going to be difficult? I suspect the game may still be difficult, to be perfectly honest. This guy's just raising zombies like it's going out of style. All right, we get. We get to continue getting some heals going, which there's nothing wrong with that. I think moving this guy up. Oh, he is immovable. Never mind. So I had I had a pretty good trap deck working last uh, last run. It was nothing uh, nothing to write home about, and died a terrible death. But I had a ton of fun. With uh, with trap Alphonse, which one are you? Uh, which one are you thinking about when you uh, when you ponder a trap deck? Are you uh, are you leaning? Next prime shot deals eight more damage. Interesting. Are you thinking trap Bertram or trap Alphonse? I yeah I I I feel that feeling also if I'm being honest I think he is uh, a tricky one now here's here's an interesting question okay so that doesn't work I was wondering if the bear was going to invalidate this attack because it was a lane based attack but it seems like it did not I've never rolled uh, I've never rolled Alphonse in that, uh, in a poison build. Uh, I, I have to admit, I'm a little curious. But yeah, Caltrops seem just really strong. I'm gonna have to go back and look at it. I feel like I just have so many arrows in my quiver right now. Uh, not sure, not sure what to do about that. I'm focusing this guy down just because he keeps summoning uh, obnoxiously. I did the best I could. Yeah, exactly. And... And with this mod, it's going to be easier to get those runes, Wismo, because runes are another thing that uh, that Nikki buffed. So, uh, but yeah, the 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 color conversion runes are just so good. Yeah, just increased drops. Everything is just going to generate a little more. Oh, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. Noted. Noted indeed. 
Pure can probably defend for seven, right? Yeah, that's fine. So let's get both the animals working in uh, in harmony. Doesn't matter what we do, he can't be moved and we're defended. But Ida's gonna have to do some healing on herself because uh, of explosive. Ah, well, not gonna get the healing off. Alright. But yeah, see, see, Wismo? Things look more like this when you finish fights. <laughs> so let's see. So, strength based challenges, I don't think I care. Uh, heavy tower shield, I don't care. That's good. Dex gloves are great. That's good. Attach skill applies six burn. That's actually interesting. I might use that. So for now, I actually think that attached burn skill one sounds better to me. Oh, it's only melee attack. Never mind. So we'll put the dexterity there. This was max card draw. We'll give that to Pierre. Well, actually, I like Pierre having initiative, so we'll put max card draw here. Then Dex can go here. And then Strength and Intelligence. You don't have a chess piece, so that goes there. Yeah, it certainly uh, it certainly changes priorities, and it gives you just a little bit of gear, but the gear is not that uh, transformative in my experience, at least. Congratulations, you're leveled up. You're leveled up. You are leveled up. Road Mastery, I think, is pretty strong. We'll do we'll do the new grids uh, on the far side, and let's hope that Ida doesn't just die uh, in a in a surprise immediate death type of th type of situation. Certainly, certainly more more aggressive than I was expecting. Uh, give them a little guard, I guess. So I think I've learned my lesson, and I'm just gonna focus down the the big gross dude. Yeah, I think that's definitely true, Nikki. Although, I think you're... Based on the way that your mod is designed at the moment, my suspicion is is that the... We're not going to be seeing a higher quality of gear. Sorry for the, the background loudness. Uh, we're not going to be seeing a higher quality of gear. We're just going to be seeing more gear, which I guess is going to translate a bit into more available gear. But uh, Ida really needs to... Uh, draw some of her heals or I'm worried that spirit link is gonna get her uh, gonna get her killed here yeah just to be on the safe side I'm gonna do that what you're saying certainly makes sense to me all right so are these gonna light on fire or is that not a not a function of rebounding hit. Here's to not be a function of rebounding hit. Taking, you're taking 17. Okay. Hang in there, pupper. I hope these guys don't explode when the big guy dies. That would be, uh, that would certainly be less than ideal. 
Swap those two. Heal you up so you don't die. Apply a little bit of bleed. We got the kill on the big guy, that's for sure. Okay, he didn't explode. That's also good for business. I've never done a, a bear build. I've done wolf builds because it seems like werewolf is uh, is very strong, but. Uh... Probably shouldn't have opened up that avenue of attack, but that's okay. Yep. Sounds sounds like my experience too, Wismo. Uh, for sure. Excuse me. All right, let's let's finish this uh, finish this one off if possible. Still, I oh, was still hitting because of the taunt. Got it. Yeah, you're you're kind of nowhere close in my experience, Wismo. Uh, I don't think this is going to come in that handy. Bad stat distribution. Great ring though. Uh, another plus one strength quiver. Not that interesting. Keep that. All right. Let's see the. Oh, what was this again? That says plus in, that says plus int. Uh, I think I've been liking magic. Uh, I mean, magic sword doesn't do us that much good. It's kind of a, a dead draw. We don't have any void runes yet. So. I'll put plus initiative here, but at some point, I think we're going to hit diminishing returns with Bertram having plus initiative. That can go. Bird Ida? Yeah, I mean, certainly that's the most flexible from attack lanes, but I think Werewolf Ida is pretty, pretty solid as well. Let's see, I think we can put this over here. We'll just grab, we'll grab a skill. Jeez. Kind of, kind of dead drawing on, on Pierre a little bit, I fear. Do that for the decks. Now over here, I think I'm more interested in the Animal Kinship 2 card. So grab that. Form of the Beast, I've been I've been kinda lukewarm on, honestly. I uh I, I find that I enter into it and I'm like, I lose power. I don't gain power, but maybe that's just me. Okay, this is a, this is a big get. We're not going to get the loot goblin unless it moves towards us. Melee stuff. That's a good knack-ish, kind of. Don't need one of those. Don't need one of those. We don't have full rings, so those are both good. That's no good, and melee attack damage is... Yeah, that's actually trash, too. Okay. Oops. We can get both, I think. There we go. 
Hopefully the peddler doesn't run away. Cut the summons from the deck. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of always building a summons deck, though, so... I, I'm so far in by the time I get that, I feel like. We'll pick up five supplies, and I guess that's all we're going to get here. Be careful. Oh, I see. It just doesn't leave much left in the deck uh, <laughs> from my perspective, because I, I usually build around enabling that. Uh, but yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, we desperately need a shop, but we can at least get some some gear equipped. Now, the initiative and strength, I wasn't that... Ah, was I interested in this? I think we just don't... Do we have nothing over here? Okay, everybody has a decent knack. Yeah, I prefer max card draw. All trash, all trash, all trash. Okay, we've done what we could do. Let's, uh... Make sure that everybody has something, and let's hope that the uh, the serpent doesn't beat us. Okay, what are we doing right off the bat here? Does Ida have front and back? Okay. So we can't do both, so Ida's going to need to do some defending here. I think I'll mana charge now just in case we need it later. So we can we can take one of the hits here for sure. I don't think we need channeling on her, so we'll call it there. Now we're gonna need some heals to keep the, uh... Yeah, so this is the one where we want everyone on the back row. Whoever's in the middle is going to take a little bit of extra damage. Huh, can't actually use that there, can I? We don't have the ability to move, so I think we're just going to do this, and then... Yeah, I was hoping we would have the ability to move our... Uh, move our, our wolf, because the wolf is going to take a big hit here, I think. Oh, interesting. That didn't... I, I assumed it was going to swap Bertram and the wolf's position. How curious. This is a cell-based attack, so I think we are going to relocate quite a bit. And then just pepper him. Oh, this is messy. Let's see. Okay, we can move we can move the wolf. But we do need to move Bertram like all the way forward like this. Now. We're out of spaces that Oh no, Ida can stand here. Okay, but I, I am going to be a little careful about not uh, summoning a second. 
for uh, for fear of running out of places to stand. Ooh, sneezes are coming fast and furious. All right, toxic soak is no no concern of ours, but bad turn for uh, for Pierre for sure. I feel like the uh, this undead anaconda is kind of like the the hokey pokey of fights. <laughs> also, this this one drives me crazy. Has targeting unique to this skill hover over the intent or read the card's description to learn the skill's targeting? Deal twenty four damage. Cool. Thanks for telling me about the targeting game. Uh, I have no idea if, if I move, is this going to follow me, etc. Uh, always fun. They aren't, apparently, but how would I have known? I do have heals, yes. No, no purge in this deck at the moment, though. Uh, I will shift Bertram here. So we can use Drill Hit. Yeah, I have Healing Wisps on Ida, which is uh, huge for, for keeping us in the fight. But, uh, but yeah, at the moment, no Purge. But yeah, unfortunately, I think the targeting system in this game was just uh, very ambitious, unfortunately. So let's see. It's, and, and it added a lot of complexity to the game. And it is not always easy to know what's about to happen in any given moment. All right, let's see. Throat Mastery, that, that, that. Tumble to here. Good enough. We're so close. Okay, the wolf's in danger, but that's fine. I guess we can just move the wolf back one, though, can't we? Now it's all good. It's dead no matter how poorly things go for the rest of the fight here. They did not go that poorly. Alright, we get the corrosive, the canker sore gives corrosive spit. Corrosive spit applies five more poison. I did like this one before. I think we'll probably put that on Bertram. Who I think I'm going over this way and... Drill hit is pretty strong. I think rebounding hit is also pretty strong. Max card draw. Never, never have enough of that. I think Curio Attunement here is great because now that we have gear, we can make sure that all of those slots are full. This is going to go here and nothing else of interest. Add Predator Dexterity to target Soul Link Beast after two turns. I almost forget how this one even works. We'll grab it. Try and learn a bit.
And then can we get a level up? Yeah, let's get one of our summon wolves up. Okay. And I'm going to take uh, one moment, use the restroom. I'll be right back, and then we'll get on to uh, zone two. All right, back in action. Ah, this is a pretty underwhelming slide. 